Donald Trump is also dealing with a reinstated gag order. Yeah, it was lifted from it. I didn't realize that, but he's done enough work that it's back involved. So uh, separate from that Dominion stuff, um, uh, from from uh, the, the stuff that was with uh, trying to overturn elections, uh, things are also not looking for him on the Jack Smith side of this whole thing. So under this uh, under this order, it was a nine day pause, and now it's been reinstated because Trump does not shut the hell up. So um, Trump and all interested parties in the case are barred from making or directing orders to make public statements that target individual attorneys, witnesses, any reasonable foreseeable witness or court staff involved in the case. Seems pretty straightforward, let's see what he's dealing with. The restrictions that US District Judge Tanya Chutkin put back in place on Sunday were ones that she had lifted nine days earlier to give Trump and US prosecutors more time to argue whether that the original gag order was unconstitutional. As attorneys for the former president had claimed, now Trump can now ask a higher court for an emergency stay pending appeal. But in the meantime, he has to shut the F up, is how he responded to it. He said that those limits were unconstitutionally vague, which is a position that was supported by the American Civil Liberties Union. (laughs) Chutkin said Trump's own actions indicated he understood where the line was. And while the order was on hold, he also posted a comment on truth on, I'm sorry, on social media, calling special counsel Jack Smith deranged and saying former chief of staff Mark Meadows would be a lying coward if he testified for the prosecution. Sounds like witness intimidation. Maybe that's reasons why there's gag orders. One more part here from Judge Chutkin on unpausing that order. This is her reasoning. The First Amendment rights of participants in criminal proceedings must yield when necessary to the orderly administration of justice. That's what he doesn't want. Uh, She also added that Trump offered nothing that made his appeal seem likely to succeed. She said Trump simply fails to acknowledge evidence that his public statements are often followed by harassment and threats against the people that he then singles out. So um, one last little post here because you know uh, uh, Bill Barr was one of his right hand men in uh, in everything he was doing as well. One of the other folks has turned on him. And of course, Trump, I thought that was fake uh, when he was going after Chris Christie and also Bill Barr and called them fat by not calling them fat, whatever. But this is one more post he had here attacking Bill Barr, which is part of his problem. He said, I called Bill Barr dumb, weak, slow moving, lethargic, gutless, and lazy, a rhino who couldn't do the job. He just didn't want to be impeached, which the radical left lunatics were preparing to do. I was tough on him in the White House for good reason. So now this moron says about me to get even, his verbal skills are limited. Well, that's one I haven't heard before. Tell that to the biggest political crowds in the history of politics by far. Bill Barr is a loser. Former president of the United States, States. someone who wants to be president again and who's by far dominating the Republican field in the primaries, and this is the things that he's putting forward. Yeah, I I mean it's it's amazing, honestly. Being that dude's lawyer has to. I at first I was like, man, that's got to be stressful. But if you're charging by the hour, and now you got to file more court papers because this guy's violating gag orders. I guess that's more money for the firm. But holy moly, does he have such disregard for the law? Like to me, obviously. You know, free speech being one of the founding tenets of 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 the nation. Like I'm sure he's gonna make that that argument, but just the the idea that this dude could be going through a court case and he just has no regard for any of the procedures and can just be as reckless as anybody we've ever seen who's on who's like a public figure who's on trial. Generally speaking, when public figures are being taken to court, they don't speak to the press. Right. They don't speak at all. They don't put anything out until the case is resolved. Um, Donald Trump is taking the opposite approach of that as a public figure. He's just like, yo, I'm going to get people doxxed. I'm going to call people fat. I'm going to brag about the size of my crowds, he's he's unhinged, honestly. I, I tend to not believe when people say, you know, Donald Trump's on the run, he's afraid, he's doing this, he's doing that, and he knows he's already lost. I think he's too deranged to know that, but this leads to a little bit more legitimacy to the, those types of arguments. So how is he not running scared if he can't stop talking? Because he thinks the only place he can get any kind of win is in public opinion with his MAGA folks. That's why he brings them up all the time. MAGA, 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 this, this, and that. Always taking shouts out to them because that's who he's trying to appeal to, not to any judge or any kind of jury or any proceedings because he's already lost. Specifically in one of these with the changing of his finances. 
Mm-hmm. They already adjudicated that. They're just figuring out how much they're going to, uh, you know, punish him for on that. So those those proceedings going on there, and he's still yelling about everything. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.